What's up guys, Ross here, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at lockdown lick number three. Thank you so much to everyone who has been sending me and sharing their versions of licks one and two on Instagram. That's been really cool to see. And let's keep it up with this new one. So today's lick is something that I am 90% sure I picked up from Josh Smith, who, if you don't know who Josh Smith is, I mean, that's unlikely, but he's, a, he's an incredible, incredible blues player. And I'm sure that I picked this up from watching a video of him um, soloing over an old blues tune called Crosscut Saw, which is the song that the backing track is based on. And speaking of backing tracks, before we go any further with the lesson, I just want to make you guys aware that if you are a subscriber to bulletproofguitarplayer.com, my instructional website, um, I'm adding the backing tracks and the tab files, including guitar profiles um, for all of the lockdown licks. Uh, to the extra section of the website. So if you're watching this and you're subscribed to the website already, you can immediately go and access those bonus materials. If you're not subscribed to the website and you don't know anything about it, um, I'll just tell you about it right now really quick. If you don't wanna hear about it, if you don't wanna hear my mini sales pitch, then feel free to head over to this timestamp and get on with the lesson. But basically, bulletproofguitarplayer.com, that's where I sell um, subscriptions to both of my online guitar courses, Bulletproof Guitar Player Parts 1 and 2, which are a combined eight hour long guide to fundamental music theory for guitar players. So if you wanna learn music theory, for guitar and get access to bonus materials on my free YouTube lessons, then check out the website. It's linked in the description box below. All right, now that's out of the way, let's talk more about this lick, which is something you could play to mark the transition from a uh, one chord to a four chord in a 12 bar blues. Specifically, we're looking at it in the key of G. So that's moving from G7 to C7. And so the first part of this lick, we're gonna split it up into two parts, but the first part is basically a descending G mixolydian run. And the second part is, it's a really interesting way of outlining a C dominant seventh chord. And we'll get to that later, but let's obviously start with part one. In fact, let's not do that. Let's listen to the lick a couple of times. First, we'll listen to it at tempo and then at a slower tempo, then we'll break it down into two separate parts. <laughs> Okay, so here's part one. So all of these notes, bar one, are found in G mixolydian, which in this open position would look and sound like this. So the one note in this part of the lick that is not found in G Mixolydian is here. That note is B flat, which is the flat third of G, and that is not found within G Mixolydian. Uh, Mixolydian has a major third, but as I have talked about um, many, many times on this channel, when you're playing over a blues, you can mix major and minor pentatonic scales together. So the major pentatonic has a major third, the minor pentatonic has a flat third. The Mixolydian scale also has a major third. Um, when you mix those two pentatonic scales that share the same root note, for example, um, G major pentatonic combined with uh, G minor pentatonic, you can use both of those thirds, the flat third and the major third. And this part of the lick perfectly demonstrates how those two thirds can coexist peacefully in the context of a blues. I'm starting to sound like George Bush. Um, but anyway, what I'm talking about is the fact that that flat third, the note that came before it was the major third, which is uh, in this key, B. So we actually play an open B string. When we pull off from the first fret on the B string, 
we pull off to that open string, which is the major third, and then directly go for the flat third. <laughs> And then after that flat third, we're just continuing down the, the G Mixolydian mode until we reach the note C. So let's just listen to that part of the lick one more time before we move on to the next part. Okay, so that's part one out of the way. Now let's look at part number two, which as I mentioned earlier, outlines a specific voicing for a C dominant seventh chord. And here's what that voicing looks and sounds like. Root, major third, flat seventh, and root again, an octifier. So part one ended on the note C. Now to begin part two, you're going to pull off to the open A string, hammer on to one, then two, then three. Now allow that note to ring out and then pick the open D string, hammer on to one, followed by two. Next what you're going to do is pluck the root note an octave higher at fret one on the B string. Um, I'm gonna pluck this with my middle finger on my picking hand, not meaning to flip you off there, but that's just the finger I'm using. And then lastly, the only chord tone left is the flat seventh, which can be found at fret three on the G string. And you're just gonna pick that note, essentially. together with part one. So that's a really creative way of incorporating a chord into your lead playing. I love the way that Josh climbs up to those first two chord tones, the root and the major third. It's like a gradual introduction of, of all of the chord tones. So rather than just strumming a chord in a solo, um, you'll find that there are you know, more creative ways of incorporating chords into your lead playing, and this is a great example of that. So I really enjoy playing this lick, and I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy practicing it at home. And as always, if you learn it and you decide that you wanna share it on Instagram, then please do uh, tag me in your stories, tag me in your posts. My Instagram handle is at Ross Campbell Guitarist. And just to remind you, you can get the backing track and tab files for this lockdown lick and the other two lockdown licks, as well as all others that are gonna come in the future. Uh, you can find all of that in the extra section of bulletproofguitarplayer.com, which is linked in the description. If you're already subscribed to the website, you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to pay anything more. It's all included. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give it a like, share it with your guitar playing friends, click subscribe for more. Tag me in your Instagram posts. I think I said that already. Definitely said that already. Uh, click the notifications bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay healthy out there. <laughs>